Mohammed. Welcome to Sport of 10. How are you? Good evening, Thomas, and thanks for having me. No, and last week you sent messages, and we thought, no, man, you can't be sending messages. Why don't we get you in the chair so you can see you live face to face? Ndota, first of all, let's surprise people because I'm a with we don't see a Zulu celebration. What's the over? <laughs> I'm sure, has that ever happened where they're thinking, ah, Lea, 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 Ah, you killed me. I know. I think South Africa is going, hey, this new South Africa is dangerous. Eh? Kermit, let's talk a little bit about you because you're one of those players that I think South Africans really want to hear about on so many fronts. Starting with, you went to Europe. You were at Ewan Holland. Why did you come back? Well, I think at the time when I was in at Feyenoord, it was a difficult period for the club because they were in a financial crisis and they just brought a lot of their experienced players back, the likes of Van Broncos, uh, Gio Van Broncos, Roy Mackay, John Dal Thomason, Kevin Offland, you know, and, mm. and they were expected results at that time, you know, and I came at a difficult period, you know, and they had a new coach and they expected uh, results from the coach as well. So for me to come as a youngster, it was really difficult to get a fair chance to play, mm. you know, and like I said, it was a difficult period and the following season I went on loan where I actually managed to get more game time in a, in a, in the Jupila League. It's a division below the mm. Euro division. So NFT Akon. Yeah. So that's f for me was a great opportunity to to show what I've what I'm capable of and I managed to play what twenty nine games, score eleven goals and uh. twelve or thirteen assists. So it was a good season for me coming from a season where I hardly played, you know, and and unfortunately when I went into my third season when I went back I was told that they weren't going to register me because we got, I helped the, I was part of the team that came promotion to the Eredivisie with Excelsior when I was on loan. Mm. And the rule there was only five players from final, from a team that's, that's, that's contracted with the team could go on loan to another team in the same, in the same league. So I, wasn't, they, I was told I wasn't one of the five so players. So you had to come back? Yeah, and uh, there was no option from other clubs at that time. And I opted to come back. You come back, you play a little bit with Supersport United. What prompts you to move to Orlando Pirates? Well, I think at Super Sport United, I just wasn't getting the best out of myself and playing in a position I'm not familiar with, which at times I, I would perform and at times I wouldn't, you know, and I felt I wasn't playing enough in my regular position, which is as a striker. Mm. You know, and towards the end of my contract at, at, at Super Sport, you know, and with the agent I had, with the agents I have, you know, Rob Moore, he's, we, we both felt and we came to an agreement that it was, it was best I move, you know, to, to Orlando Pirates because... Why Pirates? Yeah, because they were the most interested in, in me mm. and that's all I wanted from a club. And the chairman, Dr. Ivan Koza, called me personally to meet with me. And for me, that, that already said a lot from, from, from Orlando Pirates about, the seriousness, about their seriousness wanting me. So for me, that's all that mattered to me. This season, because I'm fast forwarding through things now, <laughs> you've come to Paris this season. I want to look at this goal, Chipper United. Because as much as you're scoring in Africa, you're scoring only one in the league so far. Six <laughs> goals this season. Come in, this goal, they gave you this goal. <laughs> yeah. Not Kaile. This was a gift. Yeah. E for effort. No, what effort. <laughs> and we are celebrator. You know, I want to get to the replay that really shows here <laughs> and exposes you, Kermit, because when this thing actually happens and goes in the net, yeah, here, Kermit, you touch it, fine. Keeper saves it. After the save, I'll say, Kondota, there's no way the way you're involved. Okay. I didn't score the goal, to be honest. <laughs> but if I never hit that ball towards the keeper, uh? it wouldn't have deflected off the play to go in. And then? But so it was saved. Yeah, it was saved. 
I, I don't deny that, but I mean, I helped cause the goal. So you then run away and celebrate like yeah, this? Of course. We scored the goal. We Here's leading. the angle that I want. This yes. is the one that's going to show very clearly. But we're leading. Here. 2 0. Here's Kermit. La Siavoma. Kermit Ulhedile. Sure. Then Lea Seivega. After that, Ausal Tintangan, daughter. There's fresh air. You know, nowhere near the ball. Wind. Umoya. <laughs> yeah. But that's your oh. one goal this season. That, that, and that brings me to that question of why the difference between CAF Champions League and local. PSL football for not only yourself but Orlando Pirates. You've only got one here, but you've scored five in Africa. Well, I think a lot of teams don't really know how we play in Africa, and we just got a different vibe to the African, the African Confederations Cup. I think the guys want it bad. Mm. They want to get the second star, and I think the attitudes, the, the, the mindset is just different towards the cup than what it is to the league. Not that it's in, not in a bad way, but I mean, you know, it, it means a lot to represent Orlando Pirates mm. and the country in Africa, you know. And in, in, in the domestic league, the teams know how we play and they tend to sit back a bit more than what, what the teams do in, in, on the African continent. They park the bus? Yeah, kind of, but, you know, they come out some most of the time. But, I mean, most of the time we, we, try to, we have to try and break them down and try and penetrate, try and, try and find, find a way to, to, go to get through and, and break them down and try and score. Now, the mm. word history, you say in an interview, I think on Sokala Duma, you want to be part of history. What does that mean? Well, by Orlando Prize is known for making history. I mean, if you look at the, the badge, it's the only club in the PSL that has a star. Mm. And that's history. Nobody can take that away. And for me, that's one of the reasons why I joined Orlando Pirates, was to be part of contributing to the history, you know. And, you know, uh, the, the final is a great opportunity to do that. For not only for me, but for the rest of the team, you know, I, kn I know that nobody for will forget Jerry Scosano for scoring the winning goal in, in the 95 final, you know, and it's a great opportunity for us as players to, to do that and repeat what the 95 group did. If you do get that goal and do bring the star back to South Africa, maybe we'll call you Geraldinho, ah. something <laughs> like that, little Jerry, Geraldinho. <laughs> you were called up in June to play against Gambia. We didn't win that game, by the way, just in case you've forgotten. And then the next thing was you on Twitter, and I'm going to quote you here because you said, I'm no backup player. And everyone thought, are you saying to Sheikhs that because Randia didn't uh, play, couldn't come, and he called you, then you say, I'm no backup player. What was that? Well, at the time, I just felt, you know, with the performance I've been giving at that time, that I deserve to be in the, in the national team and, you know, and it was just in the, because I was frustrated and that's why I tweeted and I think it was just to get a, a feeling from people to, to understand how, how I feel as a, as a human being as well. Mm. We also as footballers get frustrated and we work towards the nas to play for the national team and I'll always, rep I'll always want to play for the national team no matter what happens, you know, and I'm always ready to, to represent the country. All right, so there you have it. There's another question though that I need to ask you. Apparently you said this as well, which is, um, when, when you have a normal job and you don't meet the company targets, who comes and tells you, Wingomo? And you were saying that <laughs> uh, in an interview that you'd done in the media. You have a complaint when people tweet and social media and website, but okay, it's Wingomo. You know, like social media has given people the, the courage to, to say things they don't usually say when, you, when they meet you in person. You know what I mean? Cause for me, it's like after one game, you're now a bad player, or after two games, you're a bad player. I mean, everybody has a bad player. But you know. But you know. But you what will they say? Babuz, Bazok Pendu. Babuz, Zila, but I can't hear them. Where, where now? What do you think, Bazoti? Aye. Bazok, Bazok, Bazok Pig. Bazok Pig. Yeah. Now, I want to go on to the CAF Confederations Cup. I've got to wrap things up now with you because we're getting out of time and I'm loving this conversation. But, Etoile du Sahel, the game against Tunisia next month, everybody's looking for it. I know tickets are selling like hotcakes. What's the mentality in the team? How, what do you know uh, about uh, Etoile du Sahel? 
How is Orlando Pirates preparing for that game? And then on Friday, you've got a game against Tux, which has also got to be fresh in your mind. Well, I think we, we haven't shifted our mindset yet to the final. We still got a lot of games before that, so our mind shifted now to the Telcom and then next week to Vits. So we're focusing on the domestic uh, cups and league. Mm. We're not really focused too much on, on, on the final yet, you know, but as, as we get closer to the time, then we'll probably watch, uh, analyze them, watch videos from, of them and, and prepare thoroughly to see how we can get the second star. How, what's the plan though? If you're thinking about it in your mind, what's the plan in that final? They come here first, then you have to go away to Tunisia. The plan is to win without conceding at home. That's the ultimate plan. And go there without any pressure, knowing that we just need to score one goal. And so similar it. to what happened with Al-Ali? Similar to what happened Al against Al-Ali. Except Al-Ali, that game, it was 2-0. What were you thinking on the bench when it was 2-0 to Ali? Funny enough, I, I was like, I was like calm. I was relaxed. I haven't told the guys on the bench that I'll score when I come in. Yeah. Not, not trying to be arrogant or overconfident. I just had that feeling that I'll score when I come in, and with my first touch <laughs> coming on the field, I managed to score. So for me, it's it's all about believing in yourself and believing in the believing in one another as a team and. I think after the game, Mpo Makolo said that, that we shouldn't doubt our ability, uh. especially when we're playing away because we're we a bunch of good players and we showed character on the day and we, we proved that we've got the talent and we've got the mental, mental um, capacity to, to do well as a team. I don't know how you guys don't know that at that point, a lot of even ardent Buccaneers were thinking, I Pelile. For me, I I Pelang. I Pelang. 90 minutes, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for taking the time to be with us tonight. Don't you want to say to Shampoo Nice Oten? Aquare. Aye, I'm Aquare. Ah, no. I'm sorry. I'm going to leave it there with Kermit. <laughs> Thank you very much. The Orlando Pirate Striker, I think, has shown a lot there. Eh? Wonderful. Like, I love that.